everybody, happy Wax on Wednesdays. This is the last week of the texture series for this month and I'm using as uh, my substrate these four x four ceramic tiles. You can get them in any hardware store. I love using these as my practice tiles. Before I work on a technique on a larger painting, I like working them out on something small and simple. These four x four ceramic tiles are perfect for that. And I use, I cover them first with some uh, arches watercolor paper, glue that down with book binders glue, and that watercolor paper acts as my absorbent substrate. And I add about four layers of white encaustic paint after that, and then I can begin painting. And for the first texture process, I'm just heating it up just slightly and adding some ball chain. Ball chain makes great texture in encaustic, and you don't need to heat it up too much. Just a slightly warm surface and pressing it in, I find works better than um, you know overheating it and getting it sort of sloshy and having um, the chance that it sticks to whatever you're trying to use. Uh, to create your texture. So just slightly warming it, letting it cool a little bit and pressing into the wax I find works a lot better. And you can see it just makes this great texture. And I really sort of struggled this week of how I was going to add these twigs to the piece and I kept trying to impress them in the wax and leave um, an impression in the wax with these twigs and I finally decided why not just embed them in the wax and leave a beautiful raised texture. So here we have the ball chain has a great impressed texture and these twigs have a great raised texture. So a um, great fun for the last week um, of our texture week. We have both and um, if you'd like to see any uh, a step-by-step -step process of how to embed objects into wax. I have several workshops available that have full sections step-by-step -step, how to embed objects into encaustic wax. And those are Encausticology Home Studies, Encausticology Collage Journey, and Encausticology, uh, Encaustic Art to Wear online workshops. Shops. And you can join any of those workshops at any time with lifetime access. And I'll leave the link again below the video, but they're all available on Share Your Replogal com and here I'm just playing around with a few colors keeping it pretty simple this week with just my favorite indigo and uh, some cadmium green pale and also some white and also adding some accretion dry brush texture and that sort of incorporates the twigs a little bit better and so they're not just some raised twigs twigs sticking up out of the wax that um, adding an accretion texture a dry brush texture to some of that sort of helps incorporate it and tie it all together and of course, one of the most wonderful things about encaustic is the availability of all of the textures that you can create in the wax. And it's unlike any other medium where you can get things, no expensive tools needed. You can look through your junk drawer, look through your supplies and find great things to impress into the wax to make some really unique and exciting textures. And if it doesn't come out right the first time or it doesn't come out the way that you wanted, all you have to do is fuse it back flat and it's back to the beginning. So there's never any mistakes and you can explore and explore, explore and find some wonderful, wonderful textures that can be added or things that can be embedded in your wax to create some really unique race textures as well. And after you get all of your texture added, the fun begins with adding the oil stick and it can be, of course, taken right off with some, just some vegetable oil and a paper towel can remove most of that wax and leave the color only in the crevices. If that's the way you want, you can add it right back on. I fuse every single layer of pigment that I add. I fuse with my heat gun. So I hope you really enjoy this process. It's really a lot of fun to work out how you're going to uh, do a larger painting first on these smaller little tiles. They're inexpensive and, um, and so it, it kind of frees you up from making any mistakes. You can feel free to play around with them explore, discover, take new paths, go on new directions, and really be bold with these little pieces with the freedom to, uh, to take a different path and go on a little journey. And you might find that you really make some exciting discoveries. And if you missed any of the videos from this month's texture month, please go check those out on Waxed on Wednesdays. And if you are enjoying Wax on Wednesdays videos, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the little bell for a 
reminder every time a video is posted. Also leave a comment here if you have been using any of this week's texture techniques or enjoying creating texture of your own in encaustic, feel free to leave a comment here and share with us what you've been up to. I hope that you really enjoyed this month's texture month here for the month of March on Wax on Wednesdays, and we will see you next week. Happy Wax on Wednesdays.